You know, you're going to look down and check that foot. Your gait, don't go any faster. Good. Your leg looks pretty good. Now, as you get up towards the end of the barn, it starts to go downhill, so you don't want to go for any more speed. You might actually have to slow down a little bit as you make the turn. Keep that leg underneath you. Go just a tiny bit slower. Just one squeeze and relax on the rein. That's better. There he looks smoother. Up, go slower again. He's speeding up. Slower, he's starting to get pacey. Yep. So you want to be, you know, moving back and forth in the saddle or totally smooth. But if you feel any up and down, you want to slow it down. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Go a little bit slower because he's going downhill. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So right there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, one, two, three, four. So here you're going downhill, so you just want to make sure he doesn't speed up. You keep your upper body back. One, two, three, four. Now he's getting a little bit slower. So just a little bit. Right there is good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So again, when he's doing that running walk, you should either be shifting, you know, forward and back, kind of towards the, you know, the horn and then the cantle, or it should be completely smooth. That looks nicer. So it looks very smooth, but here again, you'll be going down the hill and it might start getting bouncy. Good. So for that running walk, we got a faster walk. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's your running walk. One, two, three, four. Good. Very nice head shake. It's okay. That was another take too. Yep. Good. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four for your running walk. So you're at your running walk. 